The primary challenge to me was the cost of drugs because um, you know I grew up in India. I have seen children die not having enough medicine, and so I challenged myself that there got to be another way of doing this so that these drugs are available and affordable. So why aren't these drugs affordable to most of the world's population? Take for instance insulin. This drug has been commercially available in the U.S. for 50 years, but it is neither affordable nor readily available for many developing nations. Here are the reasons. First, its complex production methods drive up the drug's cost. Second, insulin needs to be refrigerated, but many places are without reliable electricity. Third, insulin has to be injected. This requires a sterile environment. University of Pennsylvania's Dr. Daniel is developing a viable and cost-effective alternative by using plants. The drug is injected into the leaf of a plant. Once the drug is in the plant, the plant seeds contain the drug, which can be easily reproduced. The plant is then dehydrated and the appropriate dosage is placed into a capsule. The capsule requires no refrigeration and has an extended shelf life, making it a more affordable and easier way to deliver medicine all across the globe. So the greenhouse, to grow all these uh, plants, uh, is key and critical for our program, research program. But then we needed a place to put this greenhouse. There was no space on the campus. So they bought the property in South Bank. The future plans for South Bank that Penn has kind of envisioned allow for almost an innovation hub. The greenhouse fits in with that and the fact that it's a real-life application of one of these innovations. It's Dr. Daniel's pursuit of innovating how vaccines get distributed throughout the world. And by Penn putting you know, the greenhouse here and allowing for an expansion, it's not taking up precious room on Penn's main campus in West Philadelphia, but it's also serving a function that's really close by and easily accessible to the university. The previous use of the location was a a paint manufacturing plant. We didn't realize we were going to run into the a foundation of an old building that was there. So, you know, we spent a lot of extra time digging out foundations and a lot of concrete that were the size of, you know, a little Volkswagen bug. I mean, they're they're pretty big pieces. So we worked with the contractor and with JLL during construction as they encountered some things to make sure that not only the project could still be built the way it was designed, but also we can then kind of proceed with the utility design and make sure that the utility design kind of hit its milestones and got tied in everywhere it needed to. And if you really look at the greenhouse and you, you, you take a look at it, there are three independently controlled greenhouses in one location. So each one of those greenhouse segments operates independently of each other. They have their own control system for each one. They have their own temperature system. Uh, they have their own controls that open and close the, the guillotine louvers on the sides. We have roof vents that open and those roof vents are used to exhaust heat when, when it gets too hot in the greenhouse and you get that, that, that buildup of heat. third of the global population and two dollars a day. So how can they uh, accumulate forty thousand dollars when they had cancer? Cancer and diabetes is not only a rich person's disease, it's there everywhere. But this is where a fundamental change is needed in making and delivering drugs. So I think the Greenhouse Project was a very important project uh, for two reasons. One is um, it really helps start off and kick off a lot of what's going on here at South Bank for Penn. But in a more world view, it's also helping kind of realize some uh, solutions to some problems that are going on throughout the world. And that's through the delivery of vaccines by alternate methods that Dr. Daniel's pursuing. 
And that's really the, the function of this. It may be only be a greenhouse, but it's probably the most important greenhouse in the world.